morning. You know, it seems like you spent a lot of time with your national security team at the White House. Are there any updates on Ukraine, Mr. President? No, no updates, except that uh, there's been no change in the posture of the Russian forces. There have, uh, and now they're, as you know, they're along the entire Belarus border. And uh, I, uh, I made it clear to, uh, early on, to uh, President Putin that if he were to move into Ukraine, that it, there'd be severe consequences, including significant economic sanctions, as well as I feel obliged to beef up our presence, NATO's presence in on the Eastern Front, Poland, Romania, etc. And uh, so, uh, so, but I see, uh, I was watching one of you on television pointing out the fact that, uh, and I think you got it right, whoever it was, I'm embarrassed, I don't remember who saying that this is all Putin. I don't think even his people know for certain what he's going to do. Would you ever see yourself personally sanctioning him if he did invade Ukraine? Yes. You would? I would see that. What would it I take mean, to trigger the deployment of the 8,500 troops that you've put on high alert? And what's your message to those, those forces that are on high alert? Those forces on high alert are they're part of a NATO operation, not a sole U.S. operation. And I've made it clear to uh, President Putin, that we would be, but we have we have a sacred obligation, Article Five obligation to our NATO allies, and that if in fact he continued the buildup and or was to move, we would be uh, re reinforcing those those troops. Uh, and I've spoken with every one of our NATO allies in person, or not person, virtually, and we're all on the same page. We've got to make it clear that uh, um, that there's no reason for anyone any member of NATO to worry whether or not we would, we, NATO, would come to their defense. And, Mr. President, President what about... Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. Okay. May I ask you about what, what, when you'll make a decision about deploying those troops? What will well, lead to depends. that? Well, what would lead to that is what's going to happen, what Putin does or doesn't do. And uh, I may be moving some of those troops in the nearer term, just because it takes time. And. Uh, and again, it's not it's not provocative. It's just exactly what I said. Is that is that as long as we have to reassure, if you notice, you don't see a lot of concern uh, in terms of uh, their security of our, and of our our NATO allies in Western Europe, but in Eastern Europe, there's reason for concern. They're along the Russian border, they're the Belarus border. So everyone from Poland on has, has reason to be concerned about what would happen and what spillover effects could occur. We have no intention of putting American forces, our NATO forces, in Ukraine. But uh, we, I, as I said, there are going to be serious economic consequences if he moves. Can you tell me whether you think, sir, that the risk of an invasion is increasing or decreasing or steady just as, as it has been these recent days? <laughs> you know, I'll be completely honest with you. It's a little bit like reading tea leaves. Ordinarily, if we're a different leader, the fact that he continues to build forces along Ukraine's border from Belarus all the way around, you'd say, well, that means that he is looking like he's going to do something. But then you look at what his past behavior is and what uh, everyone is saying, and his team, as well as everyone else, as to what is likely to happen. It all comes down to his his decision. Look, let me conclude by saying there will be enormous consequences if he were to go in and invade, as he could, the entire country, or a lot less than that as well, for Russia, not only in terms of economic consequences and political consequences, but it will be enormous consequences worldwide. This would be the largest, if he were to move in with all those forces, it would be the largest invasion since World War II. It would change the world. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Let's go. Thank you, guys. Let's go. Thank you, guys. You guys, come on. Let's go. Thank you. 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 Thank you.